All right, we're back. It just got real for a second there. Oh, yeah, I remember his ears missing. Son of a bitch. You found him? Yeah, I'm a little amazed myself, to tell you the truth. If it weren't for Clem and Jane, well, I don't know what would have happened. Sarah, how you doing, hon? That's okay, sweetie. Whenever you're ready, I'm just glad you're here. But wait, wait. Where's Nick? <sighs> uh, Rebecca, how about we, uh, we go for a walk for a minute? Yeah. Let's just give him some space. I have something I need to talk to you about, too. <laughs> No. No. <laughs> Shit. All right, now Bonnie needs to talk to me. I ain't gonna sugarcoat this. Okay. That baby's coming even faster than Rebecca's letting on. Oh. But I was hoping you might know. Does Luke know anything about babies? Yeah, I have. Uh... Has he, I don't know, mentioned Carlos teaching him anything? Yeah. Just in case? Kenny had a family. He could help. Where is he? Oh no, <laughs> this is bad. Ah, uh, okay. He, he went in there after he left. Said he needed a minute by himself. I ain't seen him since. I see. I don't think he's doing well. Yeah. I've seen him like this before. That's why I was thinking you could talk to him. I think if it's just you, someone he knows well. You might be able to get through to him. Okay. And I wouldn't ask you to do it if it weren't for the baby. <sighs> oh, damn. <laughs> I, I like how she just stands in front of the tent like, <sighs> all right, I'm about to do this. Here we go. Here we go. All right, man. <sighs> All right, <sighs> Kenny. <sighs> I'm here to check on you. I wanted to check on you. Make sure you're okay. It was like I was floating away, watching the whole thing happen to me. And then I woke up again, and nothing's changed. I'm still taking a beating. Every day. Duck. Katya. Sarita. No peace. No rest. Let him talk. The punches just keep coming. Why the hell couldn't Carver have just finished me off? Obviously, I ain't helping anyone by being here. Carver. That's not true. You help me all the time. I need you. Hmm. I've seen you take care of yourself more than any three adults put together. But uh, thanks for saying that. Now, don't worry yourself about this. It's nothing. Hadn't killed me yet, anyway. All right. Uh... Don't be stupid. It could be infected. Well, well, it's ugly. Shit. Does that mean what I think it does? What are we supposed to do? Shit. Well, we should see what's going on. All right. <sighs> are you okay? How does it feel? It feels wet. That's how it feels. What's going on? Rebecca's water broke. Oh, shit. Oh, Christ. We should... I don't know what we should do. The oh, fuck. That means the baby's coming, right? Kenny, thank God. I think the baby's coming. What do we do? 
All right, all right. Give me a second. No way can Rebecca trap her like this. Yeah. He's right. She's gonna make a lot of Let's noise. Let's see. They'll be able to smell her too. Now you got no choice but to lock down and ride it out. No. It hurts more than before. Is something wrong? This place doesn't seem safe for a baby being born. That map shows a couple of buildings nearby. Maybe one of them could do the trick. Yeah. Yeah, we need to find a place to... The museum seems like it could be a good start. I'll go. Good idea. Mike, think you could go with her? Sure thing. I'll check the building by the river. Okay, then. Kenny, you uh, stick with Rebecca, and I will check the perimeter for walkers. Sarah? Sarah? You just stay here with Rebecca and Kenny, okay? Clem. Oh, shit, man. <sighs> I know it must have been hard, but thank you for talking to Kenny. <laughs> I'd love for you to give me and Mike a hand looking at the museum, but I was thinking, how do we know Jane ain't just gonna take off? Maybe you should go with her. Make sure she comes back. What do you mean by that? You know, she doesn't seem to like being around people much. And she volunteered to head off awful fast. I guess it could be nothing. Man, I trust her. I trust Jane. Yeah. I mean, I would have never made it back without her. Just something to think about. Oh, man, please don't let that be a mistake. Me trusting Jane. Okay, we're looking for warm blankets, man. clean water, disinfectant. Did that all sound right? All right. Don't worry. Everything's going to be fine. I want to check on Sarah. I'll help everyone else too. I think that'd be good. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. All right, everyone, you know what to do. Let's be fast and let's be careful. Yeah, let me stay close to Sarah. Hey, Sarah. You know, Rebecca's starting. They were going to leave me, weren't they? No. Uh. Of course not. Luke tried really hard to get you to come with him. How come you didn't leave me? Because you're my friend. We're friends. Because we're friends. I could never be that good of a friend. I just want my dad. I know. When he, when he gets here, we should all go back to the cabin. We're safe there. Yeah. Sarah, your dad, you know he isn't coming, right? Sarah? Hey, I think that's all she can take for now. She'll be all right. The others could really use a hand scout for supplies. All right. Uh, let I'll me help, help Jane. Jane. Good. Don't be too long if you can help it. I'm going to help Jane because Jane's alone. Not that I don't trust her, but helping her out seems a lot better than helping out Jane, uh, Luke and Bonnie. You know, give her some backup. Is that her? Oh, hey. Uh, uh. I knew you'd be here. Well, yeah, I told you I was coming here. Anyways. Hmm. Well. It's sometimes good to have someone watching your back. So, come on, partner. Let's go check out that deck. I like the height. All right. Partner, Part don't let it get to your head. <laughs> Let's go. I hope this place is what we're looking for. God knows we could use a break. Hmm. 
No, oh, look at that. Check this out. This gate's still locked, which means that hopefully no one's gotten to whatever was locked in there in the first place. All right. Who uh, knows what could be in there? Can we get in? Do you think you can pick the lock? I should be able to figure something out. Maybe this will work. A nail file? Versatility is not overrated. Okay. You know, uh, it wouldn't hurt to try a heavier hand with this thing. See if you can find something bigger. We might need to bust the mechanism. <laughs> okay. Uh, making an observation. F find a, uh, observation deck. Let's see, let's look in here. Find anything? No, not even trash. Poster. Uh, Civil War 1863. Learn a little something. Yeah, I can't go that way. Eh. Hey, the cannon. It might have cannonballs. Can't go. Use telescope. I guess it's broken. Nah, I think you actually have to pay. Alright, look at this. Infograph. Ow! Shit! You okay? Yeah. I think I almost had it. Keep looking. Alright, here we go. Uh, look at Cannon. You think this thing still works? <laughs> Check the muzzle, Napoleon. Oh. They fill them with cement so they're safe. Ah. Uh, it would be kind of cool. Let's see. Telescope. There's some buildings across the river. I think I can see a church. The nearest river crossing is miles up. Rebecca wouldn't make it in her condition. Keep it in mind, though. Jane, there's someone coming toward us. Shit, shit, shit. He's coming this way. Who is that? And who knows if he has friends nearby. Eh. Why is he coming up here? No idea. But we should scope him out and see what he's up to. I don't like having some stranger sneaking around so close to the others. We've got enough on our plates see. with a baby coming. Uh, the last thing we need is someone telling their friends about the new easy targets in the neighborhood. We should just try and stay out of sight till he's gone. Good call. All right. Shit. Hide now. Was that a dead drop? I'm not going to talk to the stranger. They want me to talk to him. Shit. He's rushing. Mm. I just want to talk to you. Uh, Do you understand me? Yes. Okay. He's scared. All right. I'm Arvo. I'm going to go. I don't want to shoot. I don't want to shoot anyone, especially Malinka Devochka, little girl. You don't have to shoot anyone. Just put the gun down. <gasps> Back up. Put the bag down. Clem, 
Make sure he doesn't have any other weapons in there. All right. I'm getting bust, man. There's lots of people are hitting me up on Facebook. What's going on? No, I have no more guns. I swear to we you. What is this? Anything? Pills, medicine. Whoa. That's a serious stash of meds. No, 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 no. Take whatever you want, but don't take the medicine. It's for my sister. My older sister, she's sick. I say. The pain makes her cry, and that makes those things come. Please. If that medicine's for your sister, why are you hiding it in the garbage? Yes. Uh, uh, I need to keep it. I need to keep it safe. Sister or not, we could really use that stuff. No, you are not nice people. You have already left me defenseless, and now you you take my sister's medicine. You are vuri. Hey, we've got people who are suffering, who need this medicine. Luke's still a wreck after Carver's. Kenny's a mess. Rebecca's in pain. Look at all of it. Clementine, we need People that stuff. People are suffering just as much as yours. You are not special. Let's see. Clementine, yes, you must We don't believe, believe a fucking word about your sick Please sister. Please don't make my sister suffer. She has been through enough. Oh, yeah? Well, I think you're just some junkie. You know what that word means, oh, huh? Oh, no, I'm, I'm telling the truth. I swear upon my own life. I don't believe any of this. Medicine, Clementine. No, no, no. no. Keep in the bag. Do not take those from me. I'm sorry, Arvo. We need these. You feel fish. You hadn't done this. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? You don't have to wow. do this. Just let me go. Jane, don't do it. Don't you ever come around here again. I don't care if you do have some sick sister. The next time I see you, you won't just be walking away. Go. Can't believe I've gotten into this mess. Shit. Give me some stupid kid stuff. Like mm. a bandit. We should go get everyone else. Yeah. Go bring those meds to the others and bring everybody back here. I'm gonna get this place opened, and we need to get moved in ASAP. Man. I don't know about that whole situation, man. That whole situation seemed kind of shitty. Man, that's gonna bite me in the ass later. I know it. Hey, any luck with that observation, Dick? I was just checking on Rebecca and Kenny. They said they hadn't heard from me in a while. All right. I don't guess there would be much, but Jane seems pretty resourceful. God knows we could use a break. Jane and I were trying to open the gift shop, and a stranger showed up. He had a lot of medicine, so we took some. What? You robbed him? Seriously? You stole meds from somebody? Sometimes you have to do bad things if you want to survive. Yeah. Where is this guy now? Jane took his gun and chased him off. Well, I guess Jane's really rubbed off on you. Is Jane still up there now? Yeah. She's trying to get the gift shop opened. You know, I can't figure her out. I mean, she really lays it on mm. her line, but at the same time, she doesn't show you anything that counts. I'm never quite sure if she just done like people just plain out done like me. I like her. I like her. She's honest, and she knows what she's doing. Yep. That's more than I can say for some. Jane seems like the kind of person who gets tempered by hardship, you know? But when I look at Kenny now, he just... He seems broken. And broken people get reckless. I know yeah. you got a history with him. Look, I think he's a good guy. At least started as a good guy. Yes, I just think he's had to take more than he can handle. You're wrong. Kenny's stronger than anyone. He tries to protect us. I don't know, Clem. I used to think that, that maybe all the horror hadn't gotten to you yet. But you watched your friend murder Carver. Not just kill him, but 
Clem, you didn't even blink. Let's see. Carver deserved what happened to him. He was a bad man. No question about that. I'm just hoping we don't become the same. Yeah. Oh, man. Tell the others about the deck. Yeah, good. I will, uh, I'll see you back there. Alright, so, man, things are getting kind of, like, deep, man. This is really, really setting up for episode 5. Really setting up for episode 5. I'm liking it. 